Well hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel. It is time for a new series and as you can see on the screen here it is with the game that is Foundation. Absolutely brilliant game that's very recently had a 1.7 update. Uh, very recently in fact as you can see on the right there of June 22nd and I'm currently recording on the 15th of June so not long ago. And what a what an update it's been! This whole new menu is beautiful. The music is stunning, so I hope you can all hear it. Um, but this is going to be a fantastic new series of uh, Foundation, and I'm going to be playing from you know from the humble beginnings up to a beautiful kingdom with castles and abbeys and sprawling farmlands and hopefully some happy villages and soldiers. Oh, stunning music! So I hope you're going to enjoy this with me, as long as we travel along these new roads for me as uh, I've got to kind of relearn the game. I played this at like pre-alpha slash very early alpha kind of level and, and time and a new fantastic update has arrived and so yeah it's if you haven't played this game before I highly recommend it and if you also haven't played it before looks like you and I are going to be in for one hell of a ride because we were learning it at the same time. I think most of it should be quite similar it's more the toolbars and the UI of what the things that have changed. But um, anyway, without further ado, let's let's start a new game. This is very exciting. I don't know if there's new maps or so. So the maps the same. Now I never really know which ones to go for here. Mountains quite tempting. Valleys quite tempting. Coastals. I mean, it's all so tempting. I think I might try valley. It just it just sounds good. So I click confirm. Is that going to start the game straight away? No, it's not. Mods. I don't have any mods. That's fine. I didn't even know there was mods. That's exciting. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to start. Now, this is super exciting. I've been waiting to play this game again for a long time. So, yeah, it's, it's going to be awesome. It's on Steam. I don't know how much it is on Steam. Uh, I don't know if it's on any consoles yet. I don't think so. But uh, it's a fantastic game. Really, really recommend it. But here we go. So I'm actually not going to read this for now because I'm going to cause some chaos. But here we go. So this is Foundation. What a beautiful game it is. Oh, it's just stunning. So it's more smooth for me. I'm, I'm worried about my software not being smooth enough for you guys. But you know, hopefully it's going to be good. What a fantastic new UI this is. It's brilliant. Right. So the first things first when you come to Foundation. What we're going to want to do is we're going to have to choose an area to settle. I do like this area. It's important to know we're going to have everything we need. So we have some stone, we have some some food, some like berries and stuff there. We have plenty of trees to get wood, but not too much. Uh, there's space to, to um, put a lot of houses down. And easy expansion behind us and elsewhere. So we could go for this one. There's also one we can go down, down here instead. We could go down by the more to the coast. We could do a bit of fishing early on. Uh, one over here. Oh, it's also so difficult to choose. Um, God, look at these new rock formations. Wow, that's sick. Anyone's further away? You've got that one there we've already seen. There's one over here. Do you know what? I'm kind of tending towards that first one we saw. There's one way over there. But uh, you know what? I think we should go for the first one I saw. All the way back up here. So, yeah, let's go for this one. And there we go. Okay, so... As you can see at the bottom there, as villager centre has been added, so we should build that now. So this is basically where the villagers will store all their goods. So, and because I'm probably going to get this land at some point, I want to try and centre this nicely for this one as well. So in like, on top of this whole hill. So if we pop it there, I'm not too fussed about uh, orientation of that. But here we go. So, whoop, if we zoom in, there are some scary faces on the people by the way, so get used to them. Rather large eyed people. Some of them look like, you know, like they've seen something quite traumatic. But <laughs> it's quite funny though. Anyway, without further ado, here's our villager centre. So we might as well start building some fun things. So, what can we build? We can build a builder's workshop. Right. Builders can be assigned to. So, we've got to build the workshops first. Now, that is interesting. What's my paint areas? So it looks like we need to do this builder's workshop first. So I need to know how I actually rotate these things. 
Um, control and horizontal. There we go. So that's the one there. So which orientation is it? It's like that because the arrows, the green arrows there. And so what I've, I've got to think about this because they're going to... The way the paths are created in this game is it's where the walkers walk. The walkers walk. The workers, the villagers walk. So whenever they walk, the more they walk along a, tr a, pa a path, uh, the more it gets worn down. So I'm quite keen to have a nice long through path going through here. So if I create this nice and orientated about there... Oh, that's literally built instantly. So that's fantastic. So now I think I can click on this and assign a builder. It's assigned two builders. There we go. <clears throat> so now we've assigned a builder. We can extract some things. So here we go. So I'm quite keen to get going on... Um, so I'm just using the arrow keys. Uh, so I'm using, okay, some stone and berries going. So the way we're going to do this... Stone cutters camp, we have lumber camp, and we're gonna want a gathering hut. There we go. So let's start with the gathering hut. Um spin that round so it's nice and close to the berries. That looks quite nice there. So that needs to be built there. So now that's gonna be built, so hopefully the builders will go and grab some things. And make the whole long way over. So you are quite hard to see. But you can see a slight light line behind them. And as they walk that more and more, um, it'll become a more and more clear pathway. So whilst we're over here, we might as well put a little stone cutter's camp in next to it as well. Put it over here next to it, so it's got like a little cosy little area for all the buildings to be next to each other. So that little red line there, I'm pretty sure, is the noise area, like a pollution area maybe? Which I'm pretty sure is a fairly new feature. So let's pop that on there, and that needs 10 wood and 5 tools, which we have plenty of at the top here. I love this new UI, it's lovely. It's really cool. So there we go, so you can see the path starting to come in here, walking nicely around those trees there. Um, so I'm going to want to get rid of some trees, and I'm probably going to want to get rid of um, these trees here, I think. We can always plant more back, because you have the thing called the Reforester Camp. Um, so yeah, and that's actually a quest for us at the moment, is to build a, a lumber camp. So I'd love to build it next to these guys, again, have us a little area of busyness. So we could definitely build it over here, like there. Is that going to work? I think so. Just little three things, I don't want to take any trees out of the way, that's the only thing. Got to make sure we keep all the trees. Oh, we'll do it, we need to do it in a way that we can, they can easily access it though, don't they? Don't we? So I can access in the front and the back there. There we go. So do that one. Okay, so now they're building these things. We might as well assign one more builder. So they've got enough people. There we go. She's going... Oh, no, she's not. Hopefully one of them goes in. There we go. Becomes a builder. This is all new to me, by the way. So I'm just guessing. <clears throat> there we go. I think he's looked at his you know, things he needs to do. Going to grab some resources and head off. So look at that lovely path they created. It's fantastic. Absolutely love it. Ah, oh, fantastic. <clears throat> so no quests right now. Ah, but there is a well. Ah, oh, look at the bridges and... Ah, oh, so pretty. So the wells are always exciting. So I want to add this to our town centre. Um, around where everything is going to be. So this is going to really help our villagers be happy. So let's orientate it nice and straight. Like that. And we'll build that too. Right, I don't do too much at once because we don't have many villages and obviously we need to focus on a thing going on here. So this is very nearly done. It's got five tools and there we go. So we can now assign a woodcutter. Let's do one for now. And so we now need to paint our area. I'm going to reduce that size. And so I want him to trim this whole area back, I think. Which will leave a little bit at the end. Let's... I quite like this coziness in the corner here, so let's start off by getting rid of all of this area here. Because we're going to need some wood. And then we're cutting trees, we're going to want a warehouse to keep this as well. So this is just waiting for a builder to finish it off. This is hopefully going to get some builders to it. And there we go, they're building that now. Right, and so, I don't want to assign too many people to show us. This has been built, love, very nice and quickly. 
We need some stones. This is why I'm waiting for these camps to be done. Um, but in the meantime, we're going to want to have some, at some point a little granary. So that's food, raw food, luxury, and granary. So no, we're going to want a warehouse. I don't think we can unlock a warehouse yet. Look at all these things. <clears throat> this looks fantastic. Where is the warehouse? Have I gone straight past it, do you think? Interesting. So where would you keep wood? Wood, wood, wood. Bakery, blacksmith, sheep statue. Um, logistics, resource, food production, goods, service, administration, decoration, transportation. Transportation? Oh, bridge. Right, okay, so I'm not 100% sure where it's all going to go, but we'll figure that out as we go along. Maybe they're just going to store it in the camp. So now these guys are done, so we can definitely get a forager in there. But obviously we need to choose an extraction zone, which is going to be a bush. And there we go. And this is now sorted, so we might as well get two people on that one. And extract. I can almost leave these little rocks here, it's quite a nice little uh, area. So, is everyone now assigned? I don't know how you can tell. One unemployed villager. Is this you? Unemployed. So, let's get I think, uh, food or stone or wood. What's the most important probably now? I had a thought, probably some wood. So, there we go. And there we go, everyone's employed. Fantastic. <clears throat> so the plan for this series, guys, is to make it about episodes about 15, 20 minutes long each. And, you know, hopefully I get some nice feedback from you guys about what you'd like to see. And if you agree you know, with, with me trying to get a nice long you know, town centre going on through here, obviously I'm going to try and keep the noisy things away. But, um, you know, quite a cool idea to get that sort of thing. So that it can slope down the hill here and then sprawl down here. Big city sprawl. There's big farms and lowland farms down here. That, that's kind of the idea I'm thinking is going in my head. So <clears throat> do let me know in the comments what you think. And once you're down that way, feel free to hit that like button and even that subscribe button. It really, really helps me out. So um, we really, really appreciate it. So you can see the, the log cutters are walking across here. So they might create some extra paths that we're not too much of a fan of, but we can't complain about that. Um, but everything's going quite well. How many berries? We've got four berries in there. I don't think the builders are doing anything right now. So they've got two stone coming there, so that's great. So they're bringing stone, there we go, from the stone camp here. And taking it over. So they're having a little break. Which is fantastic. So they do take breaks. They take quite a lot of breaks, actually. But we all need breaks in our lives. So there we go. So this needs a couple more pieces of stone, and it's not far off, and that well's going to really, really help the happiness of the villagers. Our eight villagers. So I think probably the next thing to do is probably to make put a market over just about here. We want that side, and one this side of the side. So we have one for the, for the uh, berries, and then one for some goods when we get to it. But um, I think that'd be good, because then they can start buying their own goods. And uh, yes, we're fantastic. But it's these sorts of woods I really like keeping. These ones. These ones are not too much of a fuss about, you know, less fussed about. I think they can go. If we look closely, we might be able to see them working in here. If we look really closely, I can't call. Oh, oh. No, I think they might not be in there anymore. But um, that's a beautiful game. I really, really recommend it to you guys. Um, but if you have played it before, let me know. What's your thoughts on it? Um, this whole new. Uh, oh, missing resources for construction. Here's one more stone. Uh, you know, let me know your thoughts on the, on the whole new uh, upgrade, update. That's the one. That's the one I was getting to. Um, I think it's. I think it's absolutely fantastic. It's a brilliant and beautiful update. I've been meaning to play it for a long time. Um, so very excited to finally be uh, be here and recording it with you guys as well. It's always nice. Always makes everything a little bit better. <clears throat> It's a bit of a wait as we now let some things build. It's usually quite a quite a slow start in this sort of game, but um, it's just so satisfying to watch. And I just love how much you can zoom in and the, diff the changing focal points and 
how some things are focused, some things are not. So yes, you can focus on the person and the building gets blurred, so you can really focus them. A little bit of an ambitious plan so far. Like the, going for some big castles, but I'm afraid, love, we're not quite quite ready for castles yet. Um, <laughs> it's going to be a while. So we want to build a granary and then sign a transporter. That's probably quite a good idea, but I'm quite keen to get this done. But it is being done. That final stone's being brought in. So maybe we skip the market for now and focus on the granary. So this could be quite a good halfway point between the working area and yeah. So we could do it. Maybe in here somewhere. On this corner, because I want to start building some fences quite soon. We'll do it like this, because that's a nice doorway on that side there. Nice up against the, the thing, uh, the path. So I think we build it there. There we go. I hope that's, that's going to be good. Um, I like to keep everything nice and close and tight to the path so they stick to them. Um, I love putting fences along here. I'll probably do that between episodes and things. Um, and if you'd, like, if you'd like me to, guys, I can do some detailing like uh, live streams, if you like. Um, Maybe we can spend more time waiting for tools to come in, resources to, to compile, and then we can, can redecorate with the fences, bushes, gateways, everything. Walls. There's so many fantastic opportunities within this game. Happily 50%. So he's struggling because of food, so basically we need to get this market up. So we might as well get that market ready to go anyway. So. I don't know how this works. I'm new to markets this time. This looks very small. I'm a bit confused. Okay, so I want a food stall. About there. Uh, as it's food, we'll go for a green one. So I actually want to move that a little bit closer. I want to get rid of it. I can't see. Oh, that's what I needed there. Right, this is going really well. <laughs> okay, so let's try again. So let's bring that nice and close and forward. There we go. That's probably quite... Let's bring it a bit closer. There we go. It's all together now. Nice and close to the builder's workshop. And there we go. Let's build it. Probably could. Can we edit it? We can. Can we get some barrels and things next? We can. We can get a food stall sign. Let's get that out the front. Let's get it on this side. Between the buildings. There we go. A couple of barrels will be out the back. So you'll know it's a big food stall, keeping some things in there. And then maybe even a fence down this side, just to just to partition off slightly. There we go. Let's build that. Fantastic. And is that the well done? It is fantastic. So they've all got water now, so that should hopefully make them a bit happier. Uh, it's just the food they're struggling with. Um, so I'm quite glad that we're getting that done. How's the warehouse coming along? Oh, look at that. Doesn't that look fantastic? What are you carrying there? I am working. She is working. Hazechka. Hazecha? Hazecha. Oh god. They changed the names. They used to be like very... I don't know. Elizabethan era names, but they've, they've changed them. Oh wow. Is that the uh, old style Jeff? Jeff in it. <laughs> Satisfied with a roof over the head and a welcoming church. So I think a church is definitely something we can do. But I think what we'll probably do is get this um, warehouse finished, the market finished, assign some people maybe to these things and, and call that for a good episode one. There we go, look at them go. You can see the table starting to form here, the signs up. Any problems? I don't think I have any cloth. Oh, 
although I do have 10 cloths, we can do two markets. Because that's always the thing. Tools and cloth, you don't really start to um, own or be able, to, be able to get until a bit later on down the line. Because tools are from the blacksmith. So you've got to get metal, you've got to forge them. And you're going to get charcoal and coal and things. That's just smelt them in the first place. You're going to get more wood. So it's a long process. And so it seems that you kind of set off with enough tools and enough cloth to, have to do a few things to begin with. So I've got to be careful not to use too many tools with decoration because I think one fence is, used to be five tools. So hopefully it's not that anymore, but we can see in a minute. Let's have a look at how the warehouse is coming along. It's being built nicely by... It's done! Chicolo. Thank you, Chicolo. Fantastic. So no one's available to do that, so... We can probably take away... So, add which we are going to unemploy you from being a wood creator, collector, logger. That's the one. And we're actually now going to assign them as a transporter. And then we're going to put cherries and say that we accept. And we've got 100 coins for that. That's fantastic. Okay, so that boosted our resources up at the corner here, right up. So, our coffers, there we go, perfect. Fill the needs of newcomers added. So we need to build a market that's coming. Market tender will be coming soon. And sell some resources. So where's our market tender? You're a builder. There we go, this is them here. So she's grabbing the berries and hopefully she's going to put them in here. There we go, there's the berries, stored. Fantastic. All right, so they're missing some resources for construction. I imagine that's maybe a bit of stone or a bit of wood. So they just need two pieces of... Ah, they need planks. Okay. Okay, so we do build a sawmill. We could do that near here. So why don't we place this, and then we'll call that a day for now. Um, where's our sawmill? Forester cap sawmill. Oh, it's a bit bigger than I thought. That's a shame. It's not going to quite fit in there, is it? That's a shame. We'll have to do something different. We could put it behind. Am I, am I too opposed to that? I love it against... Unless we just nestle it in the trees. I know it's getting rid of some trees, but it, it could work. It really could work, maybe. I'm just in here. Hmm. That's in the trees. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. Um, maybe we do just place it out the back here. We could place it like this, up against the... That could work. Let's go for that. And then we can hopefully try and get some, some fences along here to try and guide them in if they go that way let's do that and there we go so what i think we're going to do there guys we're going to call that a day for the first episode so i really hope you've enjoyed this we've made a fantastic start i mean the village is already growing we've got still got our eight villages happiness 50 percent hopefully as soon as this market's done into two planks you know they'll be up being happy again looks people working in there hope we get some new villages in soon um but that is exciting. So we're getting plus three now, so that's fantastic from the quest helping us. But hopefully we'll start to flesh out this area a bit more, move down, start thinking about fields and farms and things. But um, it's all looking good. So I want to thank you all very much for watching this episode one. And I look forward to hearing and seeing your comments for the next videos. And as always, guys, take care. And I'll see you all very soon. Goodbye.